All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and, of course, over on YouTube. This is a deck that I was just saying is maybe my favorite deck to be playing right now. It is just so much fun. We get to do... Um, uh, we get to do... Just really some ridiculous things and some really cool things with Kamal's Juridic Vow. And we're just playing like one and two of like everything. You know, Vivian is like our only three of, Lanwar Alpha our only four of. So we're just playing so many different cards and it's it's certainly a lot of fun. So made a few changes since last time. We're going to take out the Mox Amber and try this Black Blade Reforged. Everybody wants me to try the card. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and try it. And then I've, I've uh, switched up the sideboard a little bit. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about where we're at with the sideboard now. Put in a Tristani and a Shalai and a couple Knight of Autumns also. Um, like in the sideboard. So let's go ahead and have some fun with Nia Legends here. How big can we make the Squee? Oh, man. Black Blade Reforged plus Squee. That's a combo. That's certainly a combo. Yeah, unfortunately, we won't be able to. We wouldn't be able to activate our planeswalkers if we have a mortal sun in play. You're really hyped for the Esper lands, lands and absorb. Ooh, peaceful. You sound like you're going to be playing four mana wraths to kill all my creatures, and I'm going to be sad. Oh, updated stream decker list. Good call. I felt like I was missing something there. All right, y'all remind me after this game to update the stream decker list. Against Mountain. I don't really want to shock against Mountain, but we could draw Squee here. I should have just, I should have led with Sacred Foundry. You know, I led with Temple Garden because of Shauna, but... All right, so no squee. I would love if those would have traded. They did not. Shauna may die to a chain whirler here. Could be real bad for us. All right, no chain whirler, no chain whirler. Um. I just go Rada. <laughs> so nothing to do on turn three at all with like the mono red deck. That's just so shocking that our opponent had nothing to do last turn. Trash Master. Oh, this is a little different. Um, just because I like how I like wearing a tie. I like how I look in a tie. Hmm. All right, let's let's kind of do everything. No blockers. All right, we'll pay another two life and get Trasani in play. So we got to basically cast that Tajik for free by not by waiting until second main to play Tristani. Yeah, who's the aggro deck now? <laughs> Volley veteran. Oh, uh, that'll kill Tristani. Oh no, it has to kill Tajik. Right? Yeah. Because Tajik would have prevented the damage to anything else. Good call, opponent. Hmm. Well. That's a really good card to draw here. So we get Shalai. Plus. We attack with everything. That's five attackers. So we add five mana. 
of different colors. So with that five plus this sixth, we get, get to activate Shalai as well. That's a combo. I had no idea Volley Veteran was a card. Nice. Our opponent's kind of blocking like they don't know that I'm about to activate this Shalai. Or they're also just kind of blocking the things they need to to not take lethal, though. But I mean, the Steamkin could have just blocked the, the lifelink thing. Would have been a better block for them. We've had some pretty good turns here. Grand Warlord Rada has really sped up our deck. This turn five we played Tajik and Tristani, and then turn six we played Shalai and activated Shalai. That's pretty good. Ooh, an Immortal Sun, nice. Can't do anything with this car now. All right, got game one, and unfortunately for our opponent, I think it's going to get better for us here. We get an extra Shalai, Dawnbringer, um, some Clarions, Knight of Autumn, Tristani. I don't know if we actually even need all this stuff. Kind of better safe than sorry kind of thing. Going to take out... Hmm. Kind of like lots of awesome things. So, yeah, I'm going to take out Reforged. That's going to just kind of take too long. Let's take out Shauna. And Karn. And I got I to gotta cut these five drops. I guess it's... Cut a couple of Vivians. Basically, yeah, they have a Mortal Sun. Runus Blast kind of exiles all their things. Take out one Captain Lannery Storm. I think we're good here. <laughs> Disagree with the blade cut. I'm worried about Shauna dying to. Uh, chain Whirler. That's why I want to take it out. Yeah, Moral Sun is legendary. So we will not... We will not, uh... Exile the Immortal Sun, but we kind of exile all their creatures. With Runa's Blast. I'm not playing the third Blast. I think two is probably fine. Don't need to have, like, all five drops kind of thing. Uh, certainly possible Double Squee is not worth keeping. Sorry, Rada, you were great last game, but I need lands. Yeah, certainly possible du double squeed not worth keeping. I just want to... Um, want to be able to have some things to do early still. Alright, so I'm going to play Knight of Autumn as a 4-3 next turn. I think that's better than playing Lannery Storm still. Yeah, opponent's got a scary start here. Hmm. Yeah, we lost to we lost to a couple different uh, blue black X control decks that just killed all of our stuff. We lost to a, a, a those are four of our five matches, and we went two two against them, and then we beat the other deck. All 
Alright, down to six, but... Lyra, Dawnbringer, to the rescue, gives the Aurelia lifelink. Aurelia hits him for five lifelink. And that is the bane of red decks everywhere. Mythic Angels. Yeah, it's not going to matter. Marvel sounds pretty cool. Make their creatures big and stuff. I'll just give the Dawnbringer Vigilance over the Aurelia. All right, Nia Legends. Starting off with most likely a win. <laughs> Lifelink is a cheat. <laughs> yeah, eight six vigilant first strike angel. Helm of the host. Opponent's doing it right. Put it on that trash master. If it wasn't for me and my stupid Lyra Dombringer. If it wasn't for that. Dun dun. All right, so I'll just block the the trash master with first strike here to make all their other creatures four fours now, and then these two will trade. Oh, I could have blocked their three three with my one four. Whatever. I think we're doing okay. I gotta give the Tristani lifelink. Even though the Tristani doesn't even deal damage. <laughs> All right, one oh. <laughs> hey, Wolfmaster. Ooh, another rare. That's our second rare card here. A graveyard marshal. That's our second graveyard marshal today, also. Gotten two of those. Yeah, the Clarion was a tad mean. That was a tad mean. Yeah, going good. Going good. The new set is draftable on the 18th. So, Friday. Uh, it's only the competitive drafts available on the 18th. For gold, it's not available until February 1st. Oh my gosh! Update Stream Decker! Dang it! Ah, uh, sorry Lion Tamer. Ah. Uh, Y'all were a little slow there to remind me. I forgot about that again. Well, this is a sweet hand. Turn two to Jeek. Turn three Aurelia. Draw a land. Turn four Lyra. Get that to Jeek going right away. <laughs> Not as sweet as Squee and his blade. Uh, I don't know. I'm. I won't be streaming tomorrow. Myself. So if I play Rada, yeah. If I if I play Rada, I won't be like I won't be able to like cast anything if I play Rada and attack. So I 
So Johnny's Pride Man and Tajik actually do trade here. I don't have first strike for Tajik, but I trample over for three damage. And I think that's an okay trade for me. It's not like the best trade ever, but I think it's worth it. All right, and if opponent doesn't want to trade. Yeah, because now this Pride Mate's getting big. So we get to gain two life, put two counters on Pride Mate. That, that's happened to us one time with this deck. And our opponent said, opponent gave us the GG. They said, good game, and then cast Star of Extinction. And it only killed Tajik. And sadly, they still won the game. It was really sad. They still won. No justice at all. It was just no justice. So they're going to block Tajik now. Uh, I haven't thought about that at all. Do you think your win rate would be worse than best of one is the question. Um, no idea. I, yeah, I don't know. I've never, never thought about that. Um, now thinking about it, I don't think it would be much different. I mean, of course, it, it all depends on the deck. You know, some decks are better for best of one, some decks are worse. A lot of the decks I like to play are not good best of one decks. The best of one decks, you really want to be hyper linear. Like, you want to be, like, really aggressive or really controlling. Those are the best best of one decks, and I play a lot of mid-range stuff that's not, that wouldn't be good there yeah I yeah I didn't update the stream decker I just went on to the next match I forgot about it and I was reminded a little too just a little too late um I don't think I need lava coils also Don't think I really need lava coils. Um, this is sixty one. Just taking out a vow. All right, that's sixty. Yeah, I'm streaming for, I'm streaming for, yes, I, I'm currently streaming right now for 12 hours straight on Thursday um, to build the Ravnica Allegiance collection. We're going to be doing lots of sealed events all day, build the Ravnica Allegiance collection. If we, if we get 10 more subs, we are 10 subs away from a new emote right now and um, a new emote slot. Um, I don't have the emote ready to go immediately, but we'll have that slot always unlocked if we can get to 10 more subs. And so whenever... If we hit that goal, I'll be doing another 12-hour stream besides Thursday. And so probably either Friday or Saturday. Um, kind of depending on how I feel there. And then uh, also, if we get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, 1,000 people to follow the YouTube channel, then I'm going to do a 12-hour stream when we hit that goal also. So we have a few goals that we're working towards right now. Nice, Yud. Yeah, it's like people that sub right now, their resub don't really add to the total. Um, you know, so we need 10 new subscribers. Yeah, we're hoping Tajik carries us. Or I liked, you know, I kept the land war elf here because we get to play the Tajika turn earlier and our other things. So, you know, we have lots of Shalais, Tristanis, and Liras to be drawing into here. Um, so, 
you know, we got... We, we have a fast hand, which is important. Oh, hey, there, MTG Bob got you right there. But yeah, uh, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG is the channel. Yeah, my bad on that. Yeah, so youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, they're, they're still sitting at two lands. So this this Urza's Ruinous Blast is perfect for us. It is looking good. I do need to, I can't I can't just chump block with the land war elves because I do need that land war elf to be in play to cast this. And I'm just gonna fire it off now. I'll just take the four for one. And attack him with Tajik. Four for two. Good point. Land War Elf down. Can't forget about Land War Elf being down. Good point. Four for two. Four for two. Yeah, I'll update the decklist command here after this match. Plum, getting that hype in the chat. Let's get some hype for Clum. Thank you so much for that sub. Sub number 16 on the day. And that should move us down to nine subs left. We're gonna wait to wait for it to update. Yep, there it just updated down to nine subs. Thanks Clum. And welcome. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. All right, the opponents, opponents still attacking. They're racing, and that's kind of all you can do with a Danto Vanguard. And now I can just kind of block the Vanguard with the Lifelink token. I like Tajik a whole lot as a card. I think it's a, a really good, solid card. Um, yeah, three like it's 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 a good card. I like it a lot. Um, just everything about the card, really. I think it's a good design. Yeah, this is this isn't what you were expecting Telerian Prodigy to be playing. Yeah, kind of expecting more of a. Maybe a, uh, some kind of blue deck. Yeah. Let's just get those things out of there. Man, Urza's Ruinous Blast. That's a good card. Alright, Stream Decker. I'm gonna be on it this time. Good, good early re reminder there, though. It blasts so good. What a blast. All right, 2-0. That was a quick 2-0. I think our deck's good against aggro. I think we're pretty good against aggro. All right, export. All right, updating over here. This is this is definitely my favorite deck to be playing these days. It's so much fun. There you go. Yeah, I I love card animations and I wish they I wish just a lot more cards had more animations. I wish they would kind of crank crank up the animations a little bit. So there are a lot of cards that just don't have animations, like like that even Urza's Ruinous Blast. That could be so much cooler. Oh, old cards like Chain Whirler are getting updated in the patch. Oh, okay, so they are updating some old cards. That's awesome. This two-lander 
Man, if we can if we can hit land drops, we have such a good curve here. How many wild card and of which rarity would you say one needs to build a tier one standard deck? It all it all depends on the deck. Um, basically, you can just kind of look at whatever deck you're interested in and just and just kind of go and see how many rares and mythics it has. And if there are any rares or mythics, you can kind of trim on that maybe you don't necessarily need, kind of thing. But yeah, it certainly changes deck by deck. I <laughs> can't. Can't wait till Todd wins a game. He, he has no chance of winning with Squeeblade. All right, so far we're two for two drawing lands. We're doing great. Keep drawing lands. One more. <laughs> yeah, the duplicate rule uh, change is certainly a good change. They are nerfing this event slightly, um, but I think that's that's still okay. They're nerfing like the amount of rares that that are produced from this event, but I think that's still just fine. I think that, that the upgrade to the fifth um, rarity thing and gaining gems from that is, is certainly worth it. I think it's a overall positive change. So playing Shalai pre-combat to grow Shauna. Kind of surprised they didn't just do that before Shalai entered it because they could have they could have got a shock um, and been able to shock Tajik. Hey, what's up, Neuritis? Guessing all the time. Ooh, Jeskai. Okay. So this is not... You know, I was thinking this... If they would have just lost this, I thought this was, like, Drake's. Honestly. I would have thought this was Drake's. And Captain Lantern Storm coming on in there. Hasty creatures. No, we're not on a delay tonight. Sorry, I just... I missed you a little bit ago. My B. Alright, so Jeskai Control. Let's get those cannons. Let's get... Do we play knights? Yeah, we saw treasure map and binding. Um, Carney T. Tristani. <laughs> um, I don't know if I need all this stuff, honestly. That I just brought in. Um, yeah, you can definitely post a link, of course. Change Blast for Coil. Yes, yeah, so, well, we've seen them play Ixalan's Binding and... I, I don't want to play Coil in the matchup, but we've seen them play Ixalan's Binding and Treasure Map. They get removed by Blast. I'm not sure I actually need these Knight of Autumns. I'm kind of off the Knight of Autumns. And maybe go to one Blast... I don't think we need that much removal in general. Uh, Dawnbringer and Shalai are kind of just like expensive things that aren't necessarily too good. Oh, whoa, that was a crazy link. Okay, there you go. That That works a lot better. Yeah, Weatherlight's a legendary flyer. It also gains card advantage for us, and it doesn't die to a, a sweeper. Um, Amara and Shauna are weak to sweepers. I'm going to take out a Shauna. I got to go. So the Via Java Beta. So, so the app is... Ooh, so the app is getting ready to, to be on the App Store for iPhones. Nice. Got one game in the beta. So I have to... 
So just so to get this on my phone, I'd have to I'd have to install Test Flight first, and then and then the app. All right, Storm, do your thing. Okay, it unlocks it in test flight. No, that's for for Neuritis' game. Is that Intrusion Point, or is that a different game? I think that's I think that's Intrusion Intrusion Point, right? All right, we're just we're curving out here. Okay, intrusion points come in a couple weeks. Gotcha. That's a slightly annoying. This is a game we built for greater than games based on their board game. Huh. So I really don't want Vivian to get countered. So I'm, I'm just going to throw the Weatherlight out there. Next turn I can play Carnage Tyrant and Crew Weatherlight. Hey, Zero Born. Nice. There we go, Digitize, digitizing their board games, nice. Ooh, weatherlight connected. No seal away, settle, anything like that. Are you kidding me? Not a single historic card? All right, well, we at least we put five lands to the bottom. We know we're not drawing lands now. It's all five cards. <laughs> yeah, Carnage Tyrant pirating a big, or piloting a big boat is pretty funny. Hmm. I could certainly see a Settle the Wreckage here. Yep. And we'll shuffle those lands kind of back in a, a tad. Settle should allow me to resolve Vivian. Unless they're just going to spell pierce this. Dude, that'd be so rude. Okay. Um, Wild animals do I want I like. the Rada in play, or do I want to tick so up? Much. I think I want to tick up. I can minus next turn would break someone like you. and get Rada. But I like having the Vivian minus still available in case they have a flyer like a Crackling Drake or something like that. We got a squee. Um, I'm not sure if there's any sweet cards out of this deck list. I mean, obviously, mana base. You'll make the mana base a lot better. Um, Domri. Domri for sure. Domri, absolutely. Oh, I should play. I should play like Squee or Amara. I should play Amara here, because Amara we could find Urza's Ruinous Blast. Yeah, I, I'm still just gonna play Amara though. I suppose. Just gonna play them both. So I want to. I'll crew with these because I I want to crew with Amara. 
um, to be able to tap it and make a 1-1. One -one. But I probably want to find a Ruinous Blast, because Ruinous Blast will exile these enchantments. Of course, can't take Vivian, because Vivian, we can't cast that with Binding. And Tajik gets to crew Weatherlight. So even if, if they have, like, Cleansing Nova here to destroy all creatures, I can still just play Tajik, crew Weatherlight, hit him for four. So, like, they're in a real tough spot. And <laughs> I was not playing around Righteous Blow. Um, I think Naya Value is a better deck, but I prefer playing this deck. I think I have a lot of fun with this deck. Let's read the Franklin. Weatherlight, get it done. So, Weatherlight does. Gets it done. <laughs> Oh, hey, Tarvin. Yeah, this deck is sweet. We are 3-0. Maybe this is just the best deck of all time. Maybe this is better than I value. We have been uh, have been tuning it. I, I like where our 75 is at right now. Yeah, Weatherlight actually doing work. It did a lot of work for us there. <laughs> Red, white, X vehicles. <laughs> There's going to be, because in 40 hours, there's going to be an update to Arena to add Ravnica Allegiance um, in. And so, uh, you know, like you won't be able to play your old standard decks against the new standard decks and stuff. You know, like they're going to reset and everything with Ravnica Allegiance. Can you crew Weatherlight with both squeeze with the sack trigger on the stack? No. When you have two legendaries in play, it's not a trigger. It's just it's just like a, an immediate thing that happens where you need to um, you need to uh, get rid of one. You need to choose one legendary to keep, and the other one leaves. There's no trigger to respond to with that. All right, Nia Legends doing its thing. Oh no, this could be prob. This could be bad. Yeah, the it's just the equipment is not really as good as other cards in standard. Okay, Landry Storm's good. Get a clock going. And uh, the treasures are certainly nice to be able to help us double spell against counter magic. Or if our opponent taps out again, we can play Huatli and kill some things. Yeah, Mono Blue is certainly the boogeyman of the random, dirtily mid range decks I play. Mono Blue is the boogeyman of my decks. Alright, so Huatli kills both of their creatures, but then Huatli's dead. Yeah, because it starts at three, so I could go like minus one, minus, you know, I could go minus three and kill both of those. I could just play Huatli in zero and make a dino, um, but then if they have a bounce thing for the dino, that's bad for me. I could just play Vivian Tick Up. Could just play Shalai. It's the best thing to have resolve here. Yeah, yeah, you'll keep your current collection of cards when the new set comes out. I think I'm going to just play Shalai. Or I could just play Lannery Storm and Amara and attack again. I think I'm just going to play Shalai.
Hey, little Manu. Greetings. Saying good game. We go Lannery Storm plus Amara. This will just get us more. I like just having more treasures, being able to cast two things a, a turn. Huh. All right, so four, five, six, seven. So we got seven mana right now. Search for Escanta. That's a little weird. So that's eight mana. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So let's go with Huatli. The next turn we can Vivian and Karn if we draw a land. Karn is like my the worst of the Planeswalkers, I think. But I'm going with Watley because the chance it's a double spell with the two Planeswalkers. You should surrender now. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. Nice. I haven't heard all of... Huatli's sayings before. I don't think I've heard that one before. Yeah, they do have different land arts. Yeah, they're just playing a lot of different islands. Um... Play Karn. Yeah, no, yes, you can still play with the old cards and decks you, you used on Arena. Yes. Just the the things that will be reset are the events. Like an event like this is going to is going to be reset. I will fight for my friends. The choices we make reveal who we are. Okay, we got game one. Favorite Planeswalker lines? Yeah, I like a Johnny's quite a bit. Yeah, probably a Johnny's. I guess I haven't, I'd have to like, you know, really, you know, see what they are and everything, but off the top of my head, that's a good one. That's a good choice. All right, Clarion, Coil, Shalai, Dawnbringer. Um, Blast is awesome if it resolves. I'm not confident in Blast resolving because, like, we have to have like a legendary in play also, and then it then it resolves. Just not like, um, not sure about that. <laughs> nope, just getting some nice water there, Neuritis. Getting uh, gotta get hydrated. Um, I need to take out Karn. A Vivian, a Tristani. Maybe I just take out both Tristanis. Gotta keep our 
curve kind of low. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the other blast. Hey, Feldman, doing really good. Um, I'm going to be playing Sealed right away to build the collection up with that. All right, I got to cut one more card. I don't know what to cut. And so I'll be I'll be playing sealed right away to be able to gain cards, and it'll kind of be it'll kind of be like what cards we open up for like what we're starting it with with standard kind of thing. All right, we're down to needing eleven subs now for the next emote. <laughs> Yeah, the stay stay hydrated, but once you drink so much water, oh no, we need a, we need lands. I'll try it out. Uh, Patreon with the sub. Thank you so much, Patreon. Back to ten subs needed for our next emote, and seventeen on the day now. So keeping this hand because it's so fast with these land or elves where we can get to some uh, different... Uh, um. Whoa! There we go! 10, you say? We got there. Alright, we need white mana. Love it. Everybody's getting all this hype in the channel. Love it. Thank you so much, Neritis. So congratulations, everybody, getting those gifted subs. Hope you are using your emotes. Okay. So we are at... Let's see what we get here. That's 27. Out of 30. So that's two more. So we're at 15 packs. So we're doing another 12-hour stream this weekend. So either Friday... Or either Friday or uh, Saturday, we're going to do a 12 hour stream also. So I'm doing one on Thursday for sure. And now Friday or Saturday, I'm also going to do another one. Um, I'm not sure exactly which day yet. Um, we're going to kind of determine that on Thursday of if I'm feeling another 12 hour stream the next day or if I need to take a day break between the two. Thank you so much, Neritis. Thank you. That's uh, Neritis. And of course, everybody else that has sub today. Tons and tons of people sub today. Thank you so much, everybody. We got to. We are at now at 600 subs for the channel. That got us to our, our new emote. Uh, unlocked a new emote slot. Um. Still need to need to um ah, talk to my email person. Let me see if I'm kind of going to my channel here and seeing if it's if it's unlocked. Need to get some new emotes now. Yeah, we got we got the extra slot unlocked. And the good thing is whenever you unlock slots like that, um then you're like they they'll stay unlocked even if we drop down back underneath 600, it's going to stay unlocked. Okay, yeah, so for the deck list, exclamation point deck list here. That's where you get the deck list there. Uh, the song playing is Crash Kings. It's only Wednesday. 
Oh, I'll also be doing stream on Wednesday. I'll be streaming on Wednesday also. I'm, um, I'm taking tomorrow off, but tomorrow is going to be the last day that I take off all month. Joint stream time. Yeah, so, but we'll see. <laughs> so we'll see um, what day that. And so I mean, I, I'm also going to be doing another 12-hour stream. Well, now we're 100 subs away from the next 12-hour stream with, with uh, you know, sub goal. But I don't need to put that up. But then also if we get to, like, whenever we get to 1,000 YouTube followers, doing another 12-hour stream as well for that. So that's the next goal. You can check out my YouTube, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Put all these up on YouTube. I want that other Shauna back in here. I'm going to take out one Druidic Vow. Yeah. Thanks, Dorvin. Yeah, glad, yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream and everything. Okay. Speaking of YouTube, the Hidana's Stompy video is ready to go up. Looks a little better. We got we got better mana here. So we're getting that up right now. Certainly need some more lands. Na, 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 na. Oh man, our hand is so good if we just draw a couple more lands. I really hope we are able to do that. All right, almost done here. There we go. It is up. Can't wait for the new deck list come, upcoming next set. Oh yeah, it'll be fun. All right, Neridas, take care. Thank you so much, take care. Ah, oh, deck. You're killing us. The set is out Thursday. Okay, here we go. Now we get to get start. We got that land. We get Shalai in play. And then Shalai will protect Dawnbringer. Yeah, Neuritis is the best. Curious Obsession. What doesn't work? Sin Christ? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Chandler said so. PSA: You can you can put colon and then TSMTG in the chat box, and it'll list all the emotes in the channel. Oh, nice! I didn't know that. This has been a really disappointing game here.
That's a disappointing game. Just have uh, all those cards that we can't can't play. I mean, I, I don't mind our keep. We kept a three lander, you know, with with Shalai, a couple of Urza's, Ruinous Blast. I don't think that's a bad keep, but yeah, sometimes sometimes that happens in Magic. Sometimes that happens. Keep was solid. We just decided to draw mono five drops and and four drops. Okay, still three and one. Our deck's gonna pay us back here now. No. All right. Turn two Amara. Turn three Squee. We can keep, we can go with that. Yeah, the value F six value is not not very useful for Arena. Um, I think yeah, I'm gonna switch some of these up, like that one. I think we can get rid rid of the Sun and Moon. Yeah, I'm gonna be changing out some emotes. Thanks, Dorvin. Have a good night. Oh yeah, definitely keeping all the the cat emotes and. Maybe adding on to the cat emotes. All right, we need Blackblade Reforged. This is this is what Blackblade Reforged is supposed to do for us. It's supposed to pair with Squee to win a game that we otherwise would have no chance of winning. So Blackblade Reforged, it's up to you now. Are there? Does anybody, like, what are some other emotes that y'all, I was definitely thinking about, like, the, the five, I was going to do a five win dream emote. Um, and I was going to do a Santa emote for when people like Neuritis and Chandler be able to gift out subs. Um, do y'all have any other ones that you really want? Yeah, we have we have we have a blade in here. An Oprah emote for gifting subs instead of a Santa one. Yeah, we have a tie emote. Um Journey to Eternity, huh? You want a Delvin Bond emoji? Ooh, a sub goal pack opening one. But yeah, yeah, we, we could get some more like MTG type emotes. Let's but yeah, a pack being opened. Come to me. A pack emote for, or like, you know, winning a pack, opening a pack, all that kind of stuff. All right, that's a good emote. Hmm. Let me... I mean, I just played Dawnbringer, they just Chupacabra it. I think that's Karn. I think Karn says that. Thanks, I've Brian. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Thanks for the, the good emotes. A fog emote. All right, so I need a pog emote, a pog champ emote, kind kind of thing. So many chups. <laughs> They're chup and squee. Sure. Yeah, we need that blade. The problem with the blade now is they have Vivian, and Vivian just kills the blade. So I need... I don't know, like Urza's Ruinous Blast would be kind of nice. But it doesn't get rid of Vivian. 
Need something to get rid of this Vivian. You can't stop nature. Yeah, like we're we're just gonna lose this game. This Vivi like you know, like we just have a bunch of nothing and they have a, a Vivian ult, unfortunately. If it wasn't for the ultimate on Vivian, I think you know we'd have a chance, but Well, Urza's Ruinous Blast, we still we get to attack Vivian for two with Squee. So Urza's Ruinous Blast is our out here. Yeah, Urza's Ruinous Blast, that's our out. I'll just gain a life. I think it's not gonna do anything. Ah. All right, so we're certainly getting another blast in for this matchup. Um, hmm. Let's go blasting cannons. Let's play that card. Let's do it. And... Uh, Yeah, why not? Yeah, or Immolating Inferno. Immolating Inferno would be another really good card. Um, I have a lot of creatures that just kind of die to Vivian or Chubacabra that are, yeah, like Dawnbringer, Shalai, Aurelia. I don't necessarily love these cards. No, we haven't drawn a Black Blade at all. So I don't think I want more angels. I think I want less angels. But I want to keep. I want to like. I think Druidic Vow is an important card. Um, maybe I shouldn't be playing Blasting Cannons. Hmm. All right, taking out the sword and taking out one Aurelia. Uh, yeah, if you time out during sideboarding, you just play your original 60 again. That, that's all that happens. That's a better hand. Um, yeah, I want to keep my legend count really high for a Druidic Vow and Blast. Ooh, that's a, a really good curve filler. That's a good curve filler. So we'll attack here with Leonary Storm and Amara. And they get to trade with one of the two. Either, either they keep Amara around where we get to make another token next turn, or they, or we keep catch a Lannery Storm where we get another mana. Can I play Rada and Karn next turn? No. Yeah, wait. Play four mana. Play Rada. Attack. Yeah, actually, yeah, we can play Rada and Karn next turn. All right. So they just have a two-one, which is which is good. We get to attack with everything. Right? Yeah, three mana. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you forgot Landry Storm made treasures. That's a good turn for us. And let's start digging with Karn. I'll make use of that later. Ooh, we can get the Vivian for next turn. 
Next turn we can play Tajik and Vivian. Right? So yeah, three. Yeah, we can play Tajik and Vivian next turn. Unless they kill my Rada. Yeah, I want to get Karn in play, though. But yeah, if, if we would have played Tajik, then we would have... Yeah, we could have played Tajik with First Strike. No! Ooh. Well, Tajik's just free. Oh, ah! We used two white mana. Dang it. So now I have to use the treasure. I should have. That's my fault for not, like, paying attention to what the auto tapper was gonna do. Hey, after wizard. Nah, it's not worth it to wait a turn. We wanted to just end this game. That treasure's not not worth an entire turn of of not having Dawnbringer on the battlefield. All right, Boondocks, have a good night. And that should be game there. All right, we got to get game three on the draw. We're going to need a, probably like our Ruinous Blast or Druidic Vow. We're going to need something like that to kind of help us out here on the draw, I suspect. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Actually, Huatli is not really that great in this matchup. Maybe I take Wally out for third Tristani. Nah. 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 If you'd play with a deck to farm gold today, which would it be? Um, I would play in like the, you know, in the best of one thing. Or like not the best of one, but I play, yeah, like the best of one gold, gold event. Our curve just way too high. And no lands. Alright. Our opponent chose to be on the draw. I think that's pretty smart. Went 5-1 with knights again. Way to go. I certainly needed that extra card here. I need to get to 5 mana to blast. Um, but I'd probably play... Some kind of angel deck. Oh, maybe I'll just play this deck because it's so much fun. Ugh. This is just the worst worst possible for us. They have the best possible start. We have the worst possible start. Like, their start's amazing. Ours is horrendous. So I don't think this is going to go good for us. Try to non land to the bottom. So I was trying to get a land, but. No good. Just played Unrank, something with Turbo Fog. Opponent goes first, Duress sees my hand, takes about 10 seconds, and scoops. <laughs> yeah, they just. Wanted to do something else. Understandable. 
All right, come on, land. Land. Ugh. Well, we just have to use that Druidic Valve for one. To hit a land drop. I was really hoping we could hit draw our land and then be able to Druidic Valve for two to really give us a better chance of drawing a land. Please no Vivian for the opponent. Please no Vivian. Play Carnage Tyrant. Go ahead. Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant. 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 No, not Braska. Ugh, that's a legend. Prepare the gallows. My Ugh, that's is awful. The finest in the seas. Man, and no land for us for the blast. Ugh, yeah, both of our losses. We just, just really had the mana troubles. We just couldn't hit lands. Both against Mono Blue there, and then against Golgari. Just couldn't get to five land, five lands in either of those matches, and that's why we lost them. That was a big disappointment. No, this is not a Grove from the Ashes deck. I would much rather just play a 26 land, because uh, you know we have other things to do on the curve. All right, Dark Dweller Oracle and Zakama. All right, another three two. But I mean, we have we have 25 lands and four land war elf, so that's like 20, you know, 29 of our 60 cards are like the the mana sources there. We certainly need to get to five, of course, uh, with this deck, but just couldn't do it. You know, we mulligan to six, and our opponent choosing to to draw was awesome. That was a, that was a great a great decision for what our hand was like for sure. Yeah, we also yeah we did have Mox Amber before for like another twenty six ish land, which I think should probably come on back. Either twenty, yeah. I mean, I think the Mox Amber should come back. We tried this black black player reforged. I sideboarded out basically all the time. It's just not a card I want. All right, let's get back to that Mox Amber. But I liked a lot of the other changes we made. Um, I like adding in the second Tajik. Uh, that card's great, and I I liked our side our new sideboard uh, what we had here with like another Tristani over here and everything. I think I uh, think that worked out pretty well. Um, well, I I sideboarded out Black Blade Reforged, and it may have been one of those two blasts because I sideboarded in Blast, so one of those two blasts may have been the Mox Amber, because I would not have taken Mox Amber out. Hey, DJ Polly B. All right. Um, so if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, of course. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.